Hey guys, my name is Rage and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Elgato green screen. Green screen has always been a difficult situation for streamers. You need to choose between a cool background displaying all your nerdiness and gaming gear or opt for a green screen background which can look more professional but also be an absolute pain to set up. With most green screen streamers dedicating a large part of their room for a curtain pole or green cloth or going all out and painting an entire wall green, it can be so fiddly. But what if there was a solution that let you choose between a green screen background or your own gamer background? What if it was more portable and easy to move around? Like most of the other products, Elgato has seen and heard our cries and has given us something incredible. The Elgato green screen. It's so basic yet so effective. This portable green screen is so easy to set up that you can box it and be ready to go in a matter of seconds. Super simple, the box is an aluminium hard case with a quick deploy pop-up design built into it. The green screen case itself is 1.64 meters long and 10.5 centimeters wide, making it a perfect size to stash under the desk when not needed. It has two clasps either side and two feet which you turn outward when using the green screen. This is what gives it its stability. Now the software setup can be a little fiddly and unfortunately there isn't a magic recipe that you can follow to get the exact same result. However, I will try my best to walk you through what to do when setting up chroma key. So this depends on the setup and the lighting you have around you. We recommend having a light pointing towards your green screen to get rid of any shadows as well as a light on your face like a ring light. Elgato have a cool light product called the key light, which matches perfectly with the green screen. You might want to take a look at that. But anyway, let's get started with the software. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to chroma key your webcam in Streamlabs OBS, getting rid of the green screen behind you and playing around with the chroma key effect on your webcam. So you need to select your webcam and head into filters and select the chroma key. If you scroll down, click done. Um, from there, you kind of want to just play around with the three types of um, settings. So this is completely customizable to you. I can't give you a magic recipe and a set of numbers in order to get the perfect green screen for you. It all depends on your setup, your lighting, and your green screen. So the three types you want to play around with is similarity, smoothness, and key color spill reduction. So similarity is what completely gets rid of the green screen straight off the bat. So if I do that down to one, you can see the green screen. If I put it all the way up, it's just me, or what's left of me anyway. So you basically need to find the sweet spot between um, getting rid of the green screen um, and but keeping yourself whole. So for us and this setup, I'm thinking about four to five looks about looks about right. Smoothness is basically rounding um, the green screen pixels around you. Um, generally, this is automatically set to what the webcam thinks it needs. So 80 is what it recommends, but you can play around with this. The more you do it, the more it'll get rid of the green pixels that are around. So you just need to make sure that you find a sweet spot for that as well. So I'm gonna leave this about 80 because that looks about right. Key color spell reduction, you can leave that the same. You don't really need to mess with that unless there's any kind of um, webcam settings that you think would benefit from that. But generally, you can leave that the same. Um, opacity, leave that 100% unless you want to make your webcam transparent a little bit. Um, contrast, brightness, and gamma, they're all webcam settings. So if you need to increase or decrease any of those, you can do. But for this, we're going to keep it exactly the same because it's perfect. So from there, you click Done. Um, and now I'm going to show you how to crop your webcam in Streamlabs OBS. So you just want to click on your webcam source, hold Alt on your keyboard, and drag that in so it gets rid of the background on the right-hand side and on the left-hand side. So you're left with this sort of like small green screen play area. Um, you need to be aware while you are streaming or recording that you can't go beyond this green screen box because obviously it is going to cut you out. Um, so generally, if you are gaming, you just you keep the still anyways, but just it's always good to bear that in mind. Um, from there, you can overlay it to your game overlay. Um, so it carries the green screen chroma key filter straight over on all of your webcam sources. So you don't need to play around with that anymore. Um, but you can basically just put that wherever you want to put it. Um, for me, I'm just going to keep it inside of my cam border because I think it suits really nicely there. Um, and then lastly, you can just add your game source over the top. So if you head into game capture like you usually would, select that, add a new source, and then you'll be able to select um, either your game or the um, HD60S um, or your other Elgato capture software in there as well. And it will just overlay and you can adjust that accordingly.
Once you have the chroma key set and saved, you can carry on using them each time without having to go through the process all over again. This allows you to flick through a green screen background and a non-green screen background depending on how you're feeling. So you can say goodbye to the curtain poles and the permanent green wall and hello to a new way to get a professional looking stream. The Agata green screen is available on scan.co.uk, so make sure to check it out.